morning. It's another lovely sunny day in the Netherlands and we're near the end of October and it's still beautiful. Back home in the UK apparently it was pouring and full of rain and thunder and forked lightning and I just thought, oh my god, we dodged a bullet there. So we're going to go somewhere a little bit different today, go a bit further afield, it's an hour's drive away. So I'll show you guys when we get there. No giveaways, no spoilers. So we are in Harlem and we are heading to quite a quirky place to have some lunch. So this is one of the largest independent craft breweries in the Netherlands. Its open design means you can walk through and feel like you're getting a look at the brewing process while you eat and of course try some of the tasty beers that are on offer. So this is food ballon, fruit beer, that is very different. It's really fresh and fruity, it's got a very various taste. I've never tasted a beer like that, that is really nice. It's a 4% beer but it feels less than 4%, it almost feels like a fizzy water. <laughs> I've gone for the milkshake IPA. It's delightful. It's so fruity and really mild. I can see why they call it a, like a milkshake IPA. It's, it's kind of very creamy in its flavour as well. Really think this is fantastic. So we hadn't eaten any breakfast, so we decided to have a kind of a brunch instead. So we ordered some Kestengels or cheese rolls, which are a popular bar snack in the Netherlands. They're really crispy and full of cheese, and they're a lovely snack, perfect with a nice bit of chili dip. So I've had these in the Netherlands before, they're really good. I usually serve with chili dip. This is a spicy meat spring roll. We also ordered some vlamages, which are Dutch spicy spring rolls filled with ground beef. And as the Netherlands are so good at croquettes, I decided to have a mushroom croquette. It tasted a little bit like a bitter ballon, but obviously vegetarian instead, and had a kind of a vegetable stock flavour with nice big pieces of mushroom inside as well. So Tig ordered the mini brewer's burger, which is a beef patty, tartar sauce, bacon, onions, tomato and cheddar. Tig really loved the burger, it was nice, well done and full of flavour. I had a cheese and tomato toasty which was so huge I could barely fit it in my mouth and I could only manage half of it. Tig actually inhaled the other half off camera. Dirty tea. But it was really tasty, but my only criticism was a little bit dry because there's just so much bread there. After all that food, we decided to go upstairs and have a look at the shop. They have so many beers here and you can buy most of them on site to take away. I love this place, it's so quirky and I love the fact that it's an old church. It's so nice and chilled, the vibe in there. It's the perfect place to go, meet friends and have a nice meal or a few drinks. So after our time at the brewery, we decided to take a walk around Harlem. We stumbled upon a church called St. Barvo, which is located on Grot Market Square. It has some really beautiful stained glass, as well as tombs inside the church, and possibly on the ground as you walk along, or at least it looks that way. So we thought we'd check out the church. It's only three euro to come inside, so. And it's so huge. There is even a chapel that is dedicated to a dog whisperer that used to calm stray dogs in the Middle Ages. But the most amazing thing inside the church is a massive organ, which was the largest organ in the world when it was built in 1738. Apparently Mozart, when he was 10 years old, played the organ that's in this church. How cool is that? And Handel as well, so come on now. Music. So the organ has 5,061 pipes. I mean, you can tell it's huge when you're here, but when you think about that, that's a lot of pipes. <laughs> I wonder what it sounded like to hear it in person. So we're wandering around what's the main square in Harlem with lots of little Stalls, you know what I mean, in the Netherlands, well, there's lots of these little stalls with various foods that pop up all over the place. And one thing that I forgot to mention in the Netherlands is Mondays are kind of like a Sunday here, really. 
most people are off, I think. Don't quote me on that bit, but I know lots of places are closed on a Monday. It's the equivalent to, I think, a Sunday back home. I asked somebody here, why is that the case? And they said, they're still partying on the Sunday. So there you go. So after leaving the church and drawing out some money at the cutest cash point ever, we headed down to Kinderjek, a UNESCO heritage site consisting of 19 windmills. So we got the shuttle bus, which was unfortunately a 45 minute wait, and then drove 15 minutes to the site itself. Located near Dordrecht is Kinderdeg, a UNESCO heritage site built around 1740, with 19 windmills which are part of a big water management system designed to prevent flooding. There are three windmill museums on site and we went inside one of them. space in the windmill here. Nice fire, a bit of bed action. Cute. This is a really beautiful place and you need a full day here to explore. There's even a boat ride you can do, which sadly we didn't have enough time to do, but next time we'll come and make a day of it. As we were leaving, we bumped into a man selling hot dogs and profiteres. So I thought I'd show you guys what the profiteres are cooked in. How cool is that? if we can get somewhere to eat. This is such a lovely town, Delft. I'd highly recommend it. A little bit awkward with the one-way systems if you've got a car, but if you park the car up and wander around on foot or boat, then it's a lovely place to explore and very, very quaint. I rate it. As it was our last night, we wanted to find somewhere special to eat and stumbled upon this restaurant called Postkentor, a popular local spot with a very homely feel. It was so cosy and felt like you could be in someone's living room or house. It was once a post office which had been around for 115 years. Anyway, we ordered a plethora of food. To start with, we had vegetable samosa and bitterballen. Tig was sad that this was going to be his last bitterballen for a while and burnt himself with his eagerness to eat it. For the main, Tig had fowl in lemon thyme with truffled mashed potatoes, roasted parsnips, yellow carrot and pumpkin sauce. He found his meal to be so delicious. The meat was so tender and everything worked so well together and the sauce and everything combined was the perfect dish. So I had Thai shiitake broth with udon noodles, water spinach, shiitake dumplings with tofu, chili oil and cassava chips which had some serious spice to them. It was like theatre on a plate with so many parts of the dish. The broth smelled amazing as I poured it into the bowl and the aromas came to life. I scrapped on using the chopsticks and played it safe with a knife and fork. Mine was so delicious and had so many intricate parts that made it so special but my absolute favourite had to be the dumplings. So full of flavour with hints of mushroom and spices in there and it was delicious. Definitely a perfect way to warm up in the winter months. And those cassava chips with the chilli oil definitely had a serious kick to them. Oh my god. So these two desserts were pretty magical. I had a pear cinnamon pie and apple pear compote with salted caramel and Tig had chocolate crumble trifle, blackberry compote and lime mascarpone. So this place, I've said it before, I'll say it again, Delft is a really magical, kind of romantic feeling city. It's just so quaint and peaceful and there's loads of little alleyways and waterways with shops and bars and places to eat and the church bells go off there's the old church and the new church and it just feels really magical bye Netherlands
So we left the restaurant feeling so full up, so blessed. What a lovely time we've had in the Netherlands. It's been an amazing adventure. It's such a beautiful place. The people are so friendly. The food is so tasty. The windmills are so iconic and all in all it's been an amazing trip. Definitely a great experience and I'm so glad we went again this year. So thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time, see you on the flip side. Take care. Bye.